Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I don't know why I sound so robotic there, <laughs> but in this video we're going to talk about how to play and use a vampire class in Oblivion. Now the way I have this class built, you can choose to either play as a vampire or not. I personally hate playing as a vampire because of the sun damage, but that's just me. Well, we're getting into this. The vampire. Your sign is going to be the lady for the endurance and willpower. If you choose to be a vampire, you're not going to need strength. Right off the bat. Your two, attribu your two attributes are going to be Endurance and Speed, and your specialization is going to be Magic. So it's going to be kind of a mixed character, you know, kind of everything put together, but it's mainly focused on, it's going to be focused on Magic and Combat when you come to this character. So the three um, skills that you're going to have, now this is a role-playing character type person, okay? So keep that in mind. Your three skills are going to be Heavy Armor, hand-to-hand, -hand, and restoration. Those are the main combat skills. So why would I do this? Well, if you think of a vampire, a vampire needs to suck someone's blood. So that is where hand-to-hand -hand comes in, because you get rid of their health, get rid of their fatigue. That's also where restoration comes in, because of the absorbed health that you can do with restoration. So you're fighting someone, maybe you back off, and you absorb their health. But since you're a vampire, you're gonna be in close range combat practically all the time. So you're gonna need heavy armor. You just never back away, constantly restoring health and draining the enemy's health and fatigue because hand-to-hand -hand does the fatigue stuff. The other skills you're gonna have is sneak, illusion, mysticism, and speechcraft. Speechcraft is another role-playing skill. If you don't want speechcraft, put in something like athletics. <laughs> just kidding. Do whatever you want. Speechcraft is there because vampires typically in history are very cunning and, um, you know, they kind of charm people. Now, um, there's also a spell in the game that's a vampire's charm spell that you get if you're a vampire. So it kind of flows into that. And that's where illusion comes in too. Not only for the paralysis and invisibility, but also for the charm. That's where the whole illusion comes in. Now, sneak, not, not vampires are stealthy. I mean, you can't even see yourself in a mirror if you're a vampire. So you have the sneak option. Granted, you don't have swords, so it's kind of weird sneaking up to someone and punching them in, in the leg, but it's oblivion. That's what you got to do to get your skills sometimes. I keep looking over to the side. I'm like, because oh, uh, my screen is there on the computer, but I get distracted by lots of pretty colors sometimes. And the last skill you have is mysticism. Mysticism is, is an interesting one, not because of the telekinesis, but it's for the Detect Life and the Night Eye. Vampires can see in the dark. You have spells that you have as a vampire, but of all the pre-made spells that you can have, it's still better to make your own spells. So that's where mysticism comes in. You can train it up really, really fast. You can also dispel things, which is, I mean, it's a nice bonus, you know, if you can use it well. So with this character, once again, you're in close range, you're punching and you're absorbing health. You're also restoring your own health. And if you need to carry stuff, you can just buff up your strength. Now, illusion for the paralysis ability and the charm for the roleplay. Same with speechcraft, it's a roleplay. Illusion gives you the invisibility too. And then you pretty much just sneak around and occasionally cast Night Eye or Detect Life. Detect Life is a very important one actually, because when you're sneaking around, you need to understand where all your targets are. And you need to understand how much time you have you have to have before you start casting your healing spells. Because if you see five guys, maybe you can take out one before they all start attacking you. That's where um, the willpower comes into this character, actually, a lot of willpower. Um, because what you're gonna need to do is have high magic. You're gonna be using magic a lot with his character, and it's at, it's at the sacrifice of agility and speed, okay? Vampires are usually fast. You know, you have that little initial speed buff, but your magic is going to be running out constantly with this character, along with maybe your fatigue, depending on how you play it. You can restore your fatigue, but again, that takes away from your magic pool. So, it's, since none of the intelligence... I think mysticism is part of intelligence, actually. Screw that! Since there's a lot of area for efficient leveling with intelligence, I would actually suggest doing that at least a little bit, or picking a character with high intelligence. That way you have a lot of magic, and you naturally build up a bunch of willpower, and then you have the high fatigue that you're going to need and the high magic. Because just think about it, you detect life, maybe you're invisible, that's already two spells. You sneak up behind someone, start punching them, and then you're, you have to let your magic regenerate, maybe start absorbing someone's health. If your magic runs out, you can get screwed over really easy just because you lack the ability to heal. Unless, of course, you have a bunch of potions. 
But that's it for this character, guys. I hope you enjoy this vampire build. Me, personally, I don't like to play as a vampire, but I think with this build, I would actually go out of my way to become a vampire because I think it'd just be more fun and a little bit more roleplay than, say, just making a custom class and playing Oblivion. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or esteem it post of whatever I decide to make.